Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my day four reading vlog for the reading rush. If this camera angle looks kind of funny, it's because you're sitting on top of my books in my bookshelf and there's a window right here. So that's why there's all that light, but I didn't really have much of a better place to do this right now. <laughs> so I just wanted to kick off today's vlog. I did finish The Prince and the Dressmaker last night and it was amazing. It was so cute, so many good, themes because the main character Sebastian liked to wear dresses so there were some good discussions about that and then I also love Sebastian and Francis the other main character I love them like separately and together and the artwork is so cute and the story is so cute and yeah it was a really good reread and I'm really glad that I reread it I'm gonna give it five stars which is what I gave it the first time I read it I'm pretty sure so that's really exciting. Today, I think my main goal for today is going to be to make some progress on Snow and Rose. Because I read those 10 pages yesterday at the urologist, but I haven't read any more yet. And I would really like to read some more. I don't have a particular page count in mind just to make some progress in that. And then if I wind up having time to start Lore Olympus or one of those short stories. So those are my goals for today. I have been making progress in With the Fire on High. I was 60% of the way done when I started reading it this morning while I was getting ready. So now I'm probably like, I don't know, maybe like 80% now. I forgot to check before I started filming this, so oops. But I'm absolutely loving that as well. It's just so cute, I love. The main character and the love interest and just like the whole like cooking theme of the story. I'm not really much of a cook. I honestly hate cooking, but I really like to read about Amani who loves to cook and just see how great of a mom she is. So that is also really great. So I'm really glad that I'm loving that as well. And I really need the physical copy now. I really want the hardcover with the like fruit on the naked hardcover. So yeah, well, maybe I'll buy that for myself once I get my next paycheck or something. Who knows? But those are my reading plans for today. And I do have a small little package that I want to open. Some stickers. Because I love stickers. So this is from a shop called Crafts by Towie. And... I got, I forgot I got this many. I got quite a few stickers, but it's because they're foiled. And so I wanted to get different, like the different foil colors, gold, rose, gold, and silver. So the first thing in the order is this like journaling card, which is super cute. And I'm gonna put it on my bookshelf over here with all my other cute, stuff and then there is a little this is like a little desk sticker freebie and then some more of those little stickers those are super cute and then a foiled freebie which I love for each of the different like things I have in here I got in all three foiled colors so the first one that I got is the YouTube button. And then I got these cute like tumblers. Then I got the mail trucks. And then, oh, these are super cute. And then I got pajamas. And I got these like flower paper clips. And then I got these bow paper clips. And then I got these little like flourishes to put in my planner. And then I got these pretty boxes. I love them. And then the last one that I got is these little like doily things. So 
These are super cute. This is one of my favorite stores, especially for icons. I have a lot more for icons in gold, which at that point I was kind of only buying gold stuff because I wasn't sure if I was going to get into foiled stickers. So I kind of wish I had gotten all of those in all three foiled colors, but whatever. So yeah, I really love all of that and I'm excited to get to use these. So that's it for now and I will check in later today. Hopefully once I've done some reading. So see you then. <sighs> I am so tired. Um, so I finished all of my work that I'm going to do for my job today. I basically just had to do some social media stuff and some website stuff for my job today. So yeah, I just finished all of that. <sighs> I feel pretty brain dead and I have 178 stars on the Starbucks app and to get the drink I want it's like 150 stars so I'm kind of thinking about going to Starbucks and using my reward stars to um, get a drink which my favorite drink there is the pink drink so I'm thinking about doing that but I haven't decided yet but I do have some stuff for school that I need to do And that's a very much a mood little kitten. <laughs> so I'm working on um, a research paper that will hopefully be published with one of my professors. I found some like articles for the section of the lit review that I'm working on that I want to add to the draft that I'm turning in tomorrow because I basically just work on it in like little bits and pieces at a time instead of like trying to write a whole 10 page paper in like a week. We just kind of like do a little bit at a time until we get there. So what I really want to do for today is be able to read and summarize these articles because I have this annotated bibliography here that I use to help organize my thoughts about what I'm writing about so 
yeah, I really want to read and summarize, summarize these articles and then tomorrow I might be able to put some of that into writing. So hopefully I can do that and it doesn't take too long because I'm already brain dead. And this paper is basically just about how media and parents affect body image in emerging adults, which is basically like age 18 to 25. And a lot of the times it's college students because it's easier to get college student participants a lot of the times, which that's a whole other discussion, so I don't feel like having that whole discussion right now. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing right now. Sorry if this is totally boring, but I have stuff that I have to do. So <laughs> this is how you participate in the reading rush when you have a job and are in school. <laughs> everybody it is just after 8 p.m now and i have decided that i'm going to read just a little bit of snow and rose i'm not going to read a whole lot because i'm still just exhausted so i just want to try to read a little bit i'm also having this asmr room on my tv that is the four sounds um i don't know it seems like it's it would give me the same vibes as snow and rose so that's the plan. I'm about to listen to it and do some reading. later now and I've decided that I am done reading for the night. I did get to about page like 38 or 39. It's chapter 4 in Snow and Rose and 
So far, I am really enjoying this. It's super cute and I love the illustration style. And I definitely do think it's a good book for the outdoor challenge because they have been spending some time outdoors and they live in this like forest. So this ASMR video is perfect as well. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I can't wait to read more of it. It's really short and it's a middle grade. So I'm hoping that I can finish it pretty quickly because I just read for like 15, 20 minutes and read almost 30 pages. So that's really good for me. So hopefully I can finish this soon. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but hopefully Saturday at least. And then I can continue making progress towards all of the reading rush challenges. So yeah, that's it for this vlog. Um, again, I apologize if these vlogs have been kind of boring. It's just really hard to, like I can't just be reading all day because I have um, stuff, other stuff that I need to be doing, which I'm sure everybody understands, but I'm just really hard on myself, so yeah i'm sorry about that but for those of you who are continuing to watch these vlogs i really appreciate it it means so much to me so that's it thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my day five vlog tomorrow bye